You were doing good, though. You were doing good. Thanks, man. What's... <laughs> I can't. <laughs>what's up everyone and welcome to ghost bros gaming today we're doing a tier list for board breakers um yeah you know we've been doing some solo videos we're coming back together we're putting the bros back in ghost bros gaming today as usual if you like our videos smash that like and subscribe button uh for more awesome content and so let's get into it the Yu-Gi-Oh board breaker tier list for december all right First up on our tier list, we have anti-magic arrows. Uh, Get that shit out of here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. It says at the start of the battle phase for the rest of this turn after this card's resolved, spell trap cards and their effects cannot be activated. I don't know. Alpha, I think alpha is a solid option. Slow these days. I I like him. Don't get me wrong. It's slow. It's a right deck. Uh, he could be good, especially if you're playing like Tri Brigade. He's pretty good. I think he has to synergize more with the deck, though. All right, but play, you got to play a Fenrir or a Pank. Like, why would you play this? Yeah, it's true. The only thing I can think about is that like his summon can't be stopped. So if they have like Rule Calcos and that's the only element on board, you can summon him, attack over the Rule Calcos, and then that makes Crime not valid. So that's yeah, the only thing I can think about. But yeah. Fenrir, it's yeah. it's a solid option. Uh, I don't know. I think that I think it's mid. Well, you think change of heart is mid? No, no. I think alpha is mid. You think alpha is mid? Yeah, you gotta have some mids, you know. All you right, can't just all put right. everything in solid option. In theory, most things are mid. <laughs> what about change of heart? What do you feel about that? Uh, I think it's pretty good. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, I would say it's a solid option. I, I certainly don't like it when people change of heart my shit. I can yep. say that. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, uh, Cosmic Cyclone. Um, is this a board breaker? I mean, spell depends on the it depends on the deck you're playing against, right? Yeah, I guess. Like, uh, it, I mean, if you're playing against Labyrinth, it accomplishes yeah. the effect of breaking your opponent's board, then they fucked yeah. up somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think it's I think it's mid. I think it's just like not a lot of spell trap decks right now in the format, and especially ones I care mid. about. Yeah, yeah, it it's mid. I don't know. What, I don't know what this is. Well, okay, so if this includes the, like, the contact fusion. fusion shit, then I would say this is, like, actually kind of cracked. Obviously, you have to be playing Cyber Dragon, so the rest of your deck is kind of medium. But Yeah, like, yeah, and by, by extension, your deck away, is like, dog water. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe with the Clockwork view, the clockwork uh, Knight, the yeah, thing that makes everything machines, like maybe. I think one tier up. I, if this includes all Cyber Dragon, all right. If it's just the card Cyber Dragon, it's dog. All right. Uh, dog water is two words, right? Yes. All right. Let's change that. Uh, this is the content our subscribers have come to expect. So we got to make sure that our, you know, our spelling's on point. Our subscribers are just our friends. Dark hole. Um, not right now, in my opinion. You know, unless you want to plus your opponent. Yeah. Just play Regeki. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I actually think if you're not playing against Trail Element, and even some of the Trail Element boards with like Sprite Elf, it's it's still a solid option. Or if you're playing just against Sprite, I mean, literally everything except Trail Elements, it's still it's, a good card. It's insane against Sprite. I agree yeah. with you. Uh, but I, uh, you're mostly going to be playing against Trail Element. So. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like for the ones that aren't Trail Elements. Yeah. All right. I, I accept I, that. I think it's a solid I option. What about Pank? I think Pank's I mid. love Pank because he's a quick effect. I so. think he's mid. I think he's so Bruh, why have you lost your mind, boy? Wouldn't I rather just have Fenrir? Like Wouldn't you rather have both? Because you can just if you have if you draw into both, you slap down a Fenrir and then you can still special summon a Pank. So now you've got double disruption. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, you got alpha. To to be put in mid, I want to put Pank in mid. I think that's that's my choice here. You better at least put Pank ahead of Alpha in mid. Like, would you rather have Pank? Or I, Alpha? That I'll agree with that. Yeah, yeah, that, I'll agree with that. Uh, Zeus, uh, Zeus, solid option. I yeah, he's really good. Yeah, he's, he's great. Evenly, um, uh, it doesn't feel as good as it used to. I don't I know why it. that is. I think it's just crime. Crime. And then yep. 
Just... And if you have cash tiras as well, you don't get to go into the battle phase. Like you don't get to put yeah. them on board to go into your battle phase, so you sort of like lose that interaction. Like I say yeah. it's still it's it's also just that yeah, a lot of people are making Barone. Like, I, it's... Yeah. And you have, the fact that you use your battle phase to bait out their negates is annoying. Uh, I, I would say it's solid. I mean, it's still definitely, like, if you get it off, you're winning the game. Chalice. Target one, it gains 400 attack, I think, and then its effects are negated. Not right now. Maybe yeah. maybe there's play for it in the future. Maybe. Or know. just budget options of Droplet, but I mean, in the future, wouldn't there just be a budget option of Droplet available? And speaking of Droplet, I think Droplet's a solid option. Yeah. Um, if you're playing a deck that gets off from the cost of Droplet, this card go crazy. Yeah. 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 Honestly, I mean... Nah, dude, you don't put that in spooky. I'm at least putting it in the front. Okay, I'll accept it, yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Do we agree with that order? I'm all right with it. Okay. Harpy's Feather Duster. Solid option. If yeah. not, yeah. It's it a solid option. Be than, it definitely has to be better than Cosmic. But, like... Yeah. It's just... I don't uh, think it's better than any of these other cards. Though. It doesn't advance your game state as, mu as yeah. much as... It's like situation better, yeah. right? But against tier, it's actually pretty good, I think. Gamma Seal's mid. Just get your little one, and that's not really... It's not enough. It it's doesn't use enough. your normal summon, though, but it, it is a straight card-for-card card just... trade in a world where that's just not that good. Yeah, so. I mean, you're going to be doing a card-for-card card trade anyway, yeah. usually. Why not have a Fenrir that can plus you anyway? Speaking yep. of Fenrir, we talked about it a lot. He's spooky. He's that boy. <laughs> He's that boy. And if we include Unicorn in there, like... Yeah, I don't even... Well, Unicorn's not a board breaker, though, is the problem. He doesn't yeah, break he still, boards. He can still do the same thing that you said Alpha was good at, which is special summon inherently in the attack over stuff. Yeah, but he's not 3k. 2,500, playing against sprites. If we're talking about Bruh. stuff that's good against sprites... If we're talking about stuff that's good against sprites, because Dark Ruler is good against sprites... The, well, the nice thing about Alpha, though, is that you can use his effect and then slap him right back down, or attack and then use you his effect. Attack. He can't attack the turn, right? Or is it directly? Yeah, I think it's directly, or maybe it's uh, yeah. I I don't I don't believe I guess I've definitely attacked and and used his effect in the same yeah, turn. Yeah, I think it's directly. Yeah. Um, Curry Kara. I actually really like this card. I don't think I, like I've seen it in some of the Road to the King deck lists. I think it's just not right now, honestly. It's just like, what is the best case scenario for this card? You you got it. Like, yeah, you OTK. Like. like but in order for but like in order for you to have their effects activate, you need to make them do stuff. And so then you've already like probably used some of your other resources. Well, that's why I, it's that's why I say OTK. Like that's your yeah. best case scenario. Yeah, I don't think it's that good. Uh, Lava Golem. Spooky boy. I think yeah, spooky, if your deck can play him, why not? And let's yeah. just go ahead and get it out of the way because Lava Golem 2.0 spear mode. Uh, don't you don't know. think so? The, the three summon requirements and the fact that he's hard to get rid of is kind of annoying. I would but say, he like... changes to your... Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. The the thought is... Good. You could clear a full Terrell element board with this. Like, full board. Barone, Elf, Rulkalkos, Nomas. <laughs> like, you just get it all off. Nomas. Yeah. <laughs> lightning storm i think i think lightning storm is like almost at the top of the solid options right now yeah i actually yeah i like lightning storm better than like evenly matched right now yeah I good think. against link decks um good against flow Andres because all of their monsters are normal summon so they have to be in face of attack position um or you get rid of their spells good against rogue decks that are using d fish or macro like i think it's pretty good uh mind control i think that we just put it right beside change of heart right yeah Slightly worse because they can't use their effects or can't something. tribute it. I think, I think that's the yeah, it's the like clause. A very slightly worse version. MST, not right now. Why would I you mean, play MST? Is there any? So here's what's interesting. Is there any back row deck that you need to have non-destroying removal for, like tier? But it's not really a back row deck, like. Back in the day, the reason you ran MST over Cosmic was because of shit like Eldritch, but nobody plays Eldritch. So, mm -hmm. like... Oh, I see. Um, yeah, I mean... No. 
Not really. I mean, I could put it up here with. Yeah, like I. That. Think it's just single. I'm not, I'm not saying it's good, but I'm saying I see less of a reason to play Cosmic over it right now. I, I mean, I see more of a reason to play Cosmic over MST because if you're targeting a face down Terrell element card, if you send it to the grave, they're yeah, gonna... yeah, certainly against tier. But like, are you really siding in Cosmics against tier? No, no, no. Sorry. I'm siding in Lightning Storms. Exactly. <laughs> they get rid of crime, uh, right. and maybe an L. Uh, all right, um, Mystic Mine is banned, so we're just gonna leave that one down there. <laughs> it was so <laughs> yeah. spooky that it's banned uh not right now i say regeki i mean i think when cash Gears come out regeki maybe becomes a card that people start siding to get rid of the arise yeah. but i think regeki is honestly kind of good like i mean because it doesn't it doesn't have the same attack mode stipulation that lightning storm does which is pretty sweet but, but it's not as versatile i agree, I agree. certainly yeah. i'm not saying lightning storm but I, I just think that if you're playing board breakers, there is there is a host of other board breakers I would put in my side deck before I play Rigeki. So uh, I'd say not right now. I think in the future there there is a format for it. Uh, Super Poly, if you can play it, yeah, pretty spooky. Although it does get tear off, but it's still a great board breaker. I mean, your opponent can't respond. That's yeah. insane. Uh, Torrential Tribute, not right now. Well, yeah, I mean. Maybe yeah, it's a trap to um, yeah. That's Destroys, fair. I'll put it in dark water. It's so slow. Like how is that even a board break? Uh, triple tactics, spooky. spooky. Always. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Twin twisters. Uh, can we just put it like right in here with the rest of them? Yeah, I guess. I, I'd rather have an MST. I, it, unless you're playing a deck that likes discarding, right? Like, yeah. I mean, my my spell trap removal. I mean, it, it's it's really good. At, you know what? We should move it up. We should. It should be probably the best of these three. Just because if you're playing against Floanderies, which is expected to be like a pretty, you know, popular, popular um, deck, then it's really good against them. Activate that in standby phase. Get rid of the trap in the field spell, and then you just have to deal with the barrier statue. So um ultimate slayer i want to put this like i want to put it up here as long as your deck can run it it's yeah the same as poly, but it's not as good i'm gonna put it like right here like right at the top of solid options it's really good like they can't respond with monster effects but at the same time it's just even i even like in testing in decks where i feel like it should be good it hasn't been all that good and i think it's mainly because like you have to be playing a deck like, it's a great side deck card, like, if you have the space to run it and, like, the targets and stuff like that. But, like, what if you come up against a deck that doesn't go into the extra deck as much? Yeah. Like, I love it against, uh, like, or, like, and also your deck needs to have a variety of monsters in the extra deck. Yeah. Not yeah. only that, they need to be monsters that are also good when they go to the graveyard, right? So, like, well, they don't need to, but. On, I really liked it in the extra. Or, like, big uh, plus. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Not um, Goth Mommy? I think she's spooky. I, she's pretty but, good. I mean, maybe I'm just biased because Psychic and Punisher is that dude right now, but and this is like the only way that he gets outed. But yeah. yeah, I think this card is super clutch. It's a kaiju in your extra deck. Yes. No, I would agree. Um, I mean, it's, you just have to make space for it, and you have to be able to summon a butt ton of monsters. But other than that... You can't put four monsters on the board through six Omni Negates. I mean, are you really <laughs> playing competitive Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, that's yeah. fair. <laughs> all right. I think that's it. That's all the board breakers. We went through it. We did it. Hell yeah. Oh, man. I guess. Too many, too many good, solid options. What are you talking Maybe about? They're just solid, in they're just solid options, dude. Yeah. yeah. All right. And with that, that is our 2022 December Yu-Gi-Oh! Board Breaker tier list. Remember, if you like the content, just go ahead and like, subscribe. We're putting out videos once every day. We're trying to. You're 48 hours. For content, yeah. Well. So make sure you hit that subscribe. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Peace, love. See you later.